What's going on guys? Today we are going to be reacting to the Future of Gaming Star Engine trailer from the Star Citizen YouTube channel. Now you may be wondering, this released a few months ago, so why am I reacting to it now? Well, for my YouTube channel, I just started getting into making content as well as doing live streams for this game, and I've started to enjoy it quite a bit. As well as a lot of people have been coming into my chat and also in my comments asking if I can react to this trailer as well as the Squadron 42 trailer. So I was like, sure, why not? Um, it's, a, it's a good video idea, and I'm always happy to react to something. So here I am to react to the Future of Gaming Star Engine trailer for you today. Let's get into it. Three, two, one, play. It's captured an engine without loading screens. Okay, so they compressed for the sake of brevity. I mean, that's still, that's still crazy, so who knows what we'll see here. I feel like I'm at a performance hall. Turn down the volume just a bit here. I mean, this is a good way to stage the presentation. That's for sure. Very good way to stage the presentation. That's beautiful. Yeah, I mean, I've I've really enjoyed the game so far, and uh, it's definitely it looks really good even with lower graphical settings. Solar system size game spaces. How sixty four bit large world coordinates engine? How are they gonna do an actual solar system size game space though? That there's no shot. This is all inside their engine. That looks real. Without loading screens or boundaries, okay. That is crazy. Look at that uh the lighting there from the from the sun. Physically based atmospheres with multiple light scattering. There's no shot any computer is going to be able to handle this. Seamless transition from space to ground. Wow. Look at those clouds, too. Server, different levels of detail. That's a city? Holy cow. Oh, so this is new Babbage. Okay, all right. Tap on microtech. Wow. It's really freaking impressive. Really freaking impressive. This music's awesome too. It kind of reminds me of Horizon Zero Dawn. Locations popularly insulated with characters and players. I mean, I'll believe the character part. The players will have to see. We'll have to see what happens. Wow. I mean, this looks awesome. Incredibly impressive so far. This is 24 minutes, so we got a lot more coming. Physicalized frozen ocean? I don't That's too big of a word for me. I don't know what that means. Real-time transit systems across city districts. That's a cool... That is a very cool system. Really, really cool system. I can't... I still can't get over the surface of the planet. I think so far that's been the most impressive thing we've seen. Is that planet surface. That planetary surface. That looked awesome. Like, it looked real. I mean, this looks great, too. Wow. Just stunning. Jeez. And now, I wonder... I know that's, like, a capital city. I wonder if they're going to put, like, more cities and stuff on different planets and, and things like that. I'm also curious to see... Fully interactable and explorable multi-crew spaceship. That is awesome. That's really cruel. Like, cool. Not cruel. Sorry. Really cool. It's really freaking cool. What I'm curious to see is... Um, I, I'm 
Sorry, my brain is uh, melting. I'm, I'm so baffled at how they captured this. This must be in like an admin mode or something like that in the game. Some way they can just... Real-time biome generation. Okay, so they're going to be using um, procedural generation for, for biomes. That's pretty cool. Now, we've seen that system used in things like No Man's Sky, so I'm curious to see how it's used here. Absolutely stunning. Wow. Holy cow. Caves? Okay. Can't have good exploration without a good cave, right? Can't have good exploration without a good cave, am I right? Subterranean locations. That is awesome. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. It's incredible. Now, do we know when this is supposed to be, like, a thing? Or is it just kind of, like going to be happening mineral extraction and resource simulation okay wow this is wild Ground fog fully integrated into the atmosphere. Jeez. You know, I, I, I sometimes sit here and just wonder about the sheer advancement of technology today. Like, it's it's unreal how far we've come. Sunlight shafts through the atmosphere. That's what I was seeing earlier. That That is crazy to me. That is so crazy. You're going to hear me saying crazy, wild, and wow a lot. I think... <laughs> Rivers, driving terrain, modification, and object distribution. This, wow. I still can't believe that this is in a video game engine, though. Like, like it, it, it. There's an element that looks a little video gamey, but it's it's incredibly realistic looking, and I mean, wow. That is nuts. Dense environment procedural generation based on rule sets. That is nuts. I mean, like, it looks awesome in No Man's Sky, and that's a little bit more cartoony. But terrain tessellation and hardware displacement, okay? But, like, to have it look realistic and be procedurally generated, that's crazy. How much, is, like, how much space is this game going to take up? 500 gigabytes? I swear, it's probably going to take up around that, maybe even more at the point. By the time this gets released, like when this is actually a thing, there's no way this doesn't take up like at least 500 plus gigabytes. <sighs> Mind blowing stuff. But look at the grass. That is crazy. Dynamic planetary winds driving physical physics simulation? That is gorgeous. Draw dropping stuff right there. Oh, and there's animals. Okay, all right, all right. We're gonna pick it up a notch. Dynamic ecosystem generation for flora and fauna. So are they dynamically generate like uh, procedurally generated animals as well? Kind of seems that way. Got a bunch of cow looking things. We got what well, looks like a settlement here, maybe. Settlement of some sort. We got planting, farming, um, solar panels. That's pretty freaking cool. Now, you're going to have to forgive me. I don't know about most of the stuff that's in the game, so I apologize because I'm still very new to the game. But uh, if some of this stuff is already in the game and I'm freaking out about it for no reason, let me know in the comments. But uh, as of right now, all this stuff is, is mind-blowing to me because, well, I didn't know it existed. So, yeah. It's pretty freaking cool. Now we're going to go out of the planet. Generation and rendering of volumetric clouds at a planetary scale. So I know, I know the volumetric clouds exist already. 
But look at that. Look at how they're capturing the atmosphere here. In this transition. That is mind-blowing. And look at the stars and the galaxies there. I've never seen more realistic-looking space in a video game. That is unbelievable. And I still cannot get over, like, the lens flare the effect that we're getting from the, the sun here. Oh, now we're going into warp speed? Hyperspace travel of some sort? Absolutely crazy. I love the effect they're doing for this. It's, like, not quite like a Star Wars effect. It's like a... I don't even know, but it's crazy looking. We got a planet with rings on it. Okay. Maybe it's a moon. Yeah. Moon of Crusader. Bro, look at the... Look at the rings with the asteroid field. The asteroid belt. That is crazy. Wow. That is unreal. Space-based points of interest. That is awesome, too. So you're going to have, like... What is this? A colony inside of an asteroid or something? That's crazy. I... I... I know it sounds really cynical, but, like, there's no shot that this is real. I mean, I, I know that it's supposed to be, and that it potentially... I mean, it is. It is real, but it, it, there's no shot. Like, I have such a hard time believing that that's real. Real day-night cycle based on, based on pan, planet rotation. Crusader. Hate that planet. Freaking gas system. Doesn't work well on my computer. <laughs> Regardless, though, this looks awesome. On a gas giant scale. Wow. That is unreal. That is crazy. Alright, I know these platforms all too well. I know these platforms are all too well. I gotta know... If elements of this have been released yet. I don't think they have, because there's no way my computer would be able to run the game at all. But, what are they, looking for the 50, 60 Ti or whatever? Or higher graphics card? Crazy. That is wild. I'm really sad that I chose this as my starting planet, though. Because the other planets are so much cooler. And I chose this as my starting planet. Ugh, really sucks. I mean, the ships look awesome. Not that they don't look awesome already, but like... Man. That is crazy, dude. What is this? Flying space creatures, so they're going to have space whales in this game now? What on earth? Now, it, you know, if they if they say something like, we can tame the animals and then, like, have them as pets and, like, can fight with them, oh, man, I would be... My mind might be even more blown at that point. Might be even more blown at that point. Holy cow. That is crazy. That atmosphere is... Wow. I can't get over that. I think that, that is the hardest thing for me to, to believe. That is unreal. And then the, the galaxies and, and stars. Just crazy to me. Holy cow. Unreal. Unreal Engine 5? No, I'm just kidding. It's uh, it's their own engine, you can tell. But jeez Louise, man. What is this? Multi-scale volumetric space scaping? What? I don't know what I'm looking at, but it looks awesome. That is wild. That is 
is crazy, dude. Unreal. What is this? A black hole tunnel thing? That is crazy. Jeez. Unreal, man. Look at this place. This looks awesome. Is this a place? Now, you got to tell me, is this a place in the game? Or is this something that they're adding? Explorable place. You know, I can't even read. I'm flabbergasted. I literally can't read. Look at the, the attention to detail on this space station is chef's kiss. Wow. I mean, this looks awesome. I'd definitely go here. Heck yeah. Sign me up. Sign me the heck up, baby. Get me in there. Put me in there, coach. I'm ready. Unreal, dude. Melanin driven skin shader with blemish freckles and tattoo layers. Oh, wow. So they're updating character profiles in creation, too. That is unreal. Look at that. That detail level is pretty freaking insane. Pretty freaking insane. So I can't stop shaking my head because it's a little bit unbelievable. Did they did they show this tech demo somewhere? Like, did they show this at a at like a game show or something or an awards ceremony? I I mean I'd be I'd be unbelievable. I mean it'd be un I can't even speak. <laughs> I literally can't speak. I'd be shocked if they didn't. That is crazy, dude. Y'all are going to be tired of hearing me say things like that is crazy. Because it is crazy. It's, it's literally crazy, which I'm sure you already know. Absolutely mind-boggling stuff, dude. Mind-boggling stuff. All right, we got another planet here. Okay, where are we now? Pyro 3. I don't know this planet yet, so let's see what it looks like. I mean, you you will not get stop me from saying that the atmospheric graphical rendering here is unbelievable. It is unbelievable. Sun shaft occlusion on a planetary scale. This is unreal. Like, look at those clouds, dude. Look at them. I know you're looking at them, but look at them. Cloud pillars. Holy cow. What is this? Dynamic fire simulation based on voxel grids. What? So you're gonna have fires in your ship that you have to like put out or something? Or you won't be able to put them out somehow? Man, that, that looks like a losing battle, my guy. I'm sorry, that's, that's not a battle you're winning. Your ship is toast, it's done for. It's done for at this point. You're you're done for.
Wow, what a mechanic. That is crazy. I can't believe that. So what is this place? Is this like a... Shadows from clouds cast an atmosphere. That is impressive. That is very impressive. What is this planet, though? Is this like a... I can't tell. Is it mountainous? Yeah, it looks like it's mountainous. All right, where are we going? Wow. I mean, you could probably convince somebody that that's real and not that it generated in a video game engine. Like, you could probably convince somebody that's real. Holy cow. Yeah, I genuinely, I'm, I'm so impressed. So impressed. I can't believe this. This is crazy. Little outpost of some sort there. Farming outpost or so. It looks like sulfur, probably. Sulfur mining. Look at the water, man. Look at the wind. The wind effects blowing, like blowing the water. I don't know what I'm talking about, but it looks awesome. <laughs> That's crazy. You got a spaceport. Is that water on the ground? Look at yeah, I was just about to say look at the water simulation. Like the the wind from the exhaust and engines and stuff is like holy cow. That's literally so impressive. Streaming hierarchical object container technology for outposts. This is, this is unreal. Like, absolutely insane. Insanity. What are the Star Citizen developers doing today? Not today, just what are they doing in general? I just want to, I want to sing the music, like hum the music. Physically based advanced water effects. That, that is impressive. That is so impressive. Wow. Like, it, it looks video gamey, but at the same point, it's, it's unreal how impressive that is. Holy cow. What is this? Oh, okay. All right. Physically based destruction. Really? So, wait. So, if, if there's physically based destruction... Holy cow! If there's physically based destruction, does that mean that we can blow up anything? In the, in the game? Or is it just specific buildings or locations? I find it hard to believe that you could blow up anything in a, in a consistent server like universe but I never you never know real-time cloth simulation very impressive dynamic sweat and tears that's so cool man so freaking cool Wow Jeez, dude. I don't know how many times I can keep saying it. Unreal. Unbelievable stuff. S 
star engine. Wow. So is this a separate engine that they are building for the game? Or is this the engine that they are still in, but this is these are advancements to the engine? That is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Give it a like. That was awesome. Subscribed. Um, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow, wow. Guys, that was the Future of Gaming Star Engine trailer. I am blown away by that. I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. Um, we're always making new content for the YouTube channel. And we're streaming live most every day of the week. So uh, stay connected. Be there. And I'd love to see you back again. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a great day. And we'll talk to you in the next one. Thanks, guys.